Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have an awesome reading, Capricorn. And uh, yeah, if you would like a free five-minute psychic reading, you may get one with Mystic Sense. And all that information is below. The link is there. If you would like a reading with me, get one of those as well. I have a calendar link and you can uh, sign up for a reading there. I have psychic readings and tarot readings. Uh, they're really a lot of fun. I feel like they are. They're very interactive. And I would recommend getting both. There is a combo choice there, right? Because you're getting different insight from each type of reading. Let's get into it, Capricorn. We have this big heart here uh, in, you know, in the heart of the reading. Yeah, at the center of the reading. And, uh, you know, this is a, a real heart. And we see the valve and all this stuff, right? And here, this is the Three of Swords. And this heart is on fire. Mm -hmm. and uh, there's either some heartbreak here or there was some third party going on there was uh, possibly there could be three people here we start right here Capricorn uh, with the this is the knight of swords uh, but you know in this deck here this man's chasing this man almost like he's a criminal here but He's running away and uh, somebody here is kind of running from something and like in this way where I need to leave. Yeah, it's that energy because we see the seven of swords here and the man walks away from the fire and he's carrying all his swords. And, you know, here it's in the snow and it's a night and, you know, he really needs to go because of uh, because of the conditions. Right now, next to the fire is the is the uh the wolf and so the wolf stays behind because he's leaving uh this calling behind whatever he wherever he was this is no longer a great calling to him because this is what the wolf really uh stands for is a great calling he he goes there's nothing i can do here i need to take what's mine and go basically maybe i need these swords to protect me but this is definitely a walking away and we see the man running here yeah and that is uh yeah we also have the king of swords right here the king of wands i beg your pardon uh now uh mm -hmm. no he is the knight of swords yes he is we have the we have the uh you know the horse here but here's the swords he's a knight of swords in this particular deck and uh here he is, he's got his tie on, but he's got his sword out, right? Like he's going to, you know, like on, uh, what they call it? Like on guard, like when you have a duel, right? <clears throat> Let's look at that real quick here. And we call this uh, the fighter, courage, a challenge to destiny, the utmost vitality. A man may be your friend or a champion in making your dream come true. Somebody has the utmost, the utmost uh, courage here. Although they are running away from something, I feel like somebody's trying to come to you, Capricorn, or run into your arms, and they're leaving something behind here that is, I don't know, that was very difficult. You may be the one who is leaving this behind. And we also see the Six of Swords. This talks about new events. Uh, and this is a trampoline here. You know, this is somebody's, you know, uh, that is the author's idea here, but they're kind of like holding it. It's kind of a trip here. But. Uh, there's these three people here. This talks about uh, new events and uh, possibly publish, publishing or making something kind of like official. Somebody's trying to run, walk away from somebody like in a very official way. Like maybe it's a divorce, but there's some type of uh, like severance that is basically uh, it's official. And they're, they're doing that now. And they want to make their dream come true. And they are being very careful. Yeah, that's what's going on. We also have the lover. And we have to cover her up because I keep forgetting her, uh, her, you know, her boob is showing here. But she, uh, that, that can be about low self-esteem. Yeah, it can in that particular uh, spread. Mm -hmm. And she's looking at herself. Uh, she's very beautiful, right? You could see her and she's here with her kind of potions and her tea, you know, by this, uh, kind of hot pool, if you would not hot pool, uh, jacuzzi. Why did I call it a hot pool? Yeah. Let's see what they say about that card. I'm a little curious here about that card. I have a, uh, I mean, 
that is one of the meanings, but let's see what they say. Mm -hmm. They call that, I think they call it the lover. Let's see what they say about that. Yes, and this is uh, worth and attraction, possession, sociability, physical attraction. Well, you can talk about low self-esteem, but this person is very attracted to you, Capricorn. And I feel like they want to make uh, an official relationship with you because here's the lovers right here. We have the nine of pentacles here. This is tradition. I feel like some this person may want to marry you, definitely, because we have this officiality over here, something very official. And this person's going to come fight for this Capricorn. She who battles justice, fierce, and commitment. And here's this, you know, this female warrior here. Mm -hmm. And she has this huge, uh, like machete type, a uh, knife. Yeah. A sword, right? It's more like a sword. And, uh, somebody's going to fight for this. I feel like they are fight for a union with you. Now, Capricorn, your or I feel like this is your reading down here today. We're using different cards. So we have set them out ahead of time, right? The strength cards reverse. So you're afraid they're not going to show up. Or you don't have a lot of confidence. And is she naked too? Yeah, geez, Denise. Uh, you know, because this is such a family, uh, you know, family, you know, family um, network or, you know, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> the lovers is here, you guys. And uh, here here they are. And this is, uh, this is uh, a ceremony they are doing. Like, I love you forever, right? And scratch your arm in the same place and draw a tiny bit of blood. Just like Huck Finn did with Becky, right? Yeah, if you guys remember those stories. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, you know, the heart is here and they're standing in front of uh, basically what is kind of, this is a rainbow, but it's really called the, uh, the Holy Grail, kind of the shape of that rainbow, I believe it is. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and we have the Three of Swords here. So it looks like you are kind of like not very confident that somebody's like choosing you. Maybe there's too many people involved, three of swords, right? You, you could have, uh, been heartbroken here. Capricorn's possible or very disappointed. Sometimes the three of swords, a major disappointment. Now the three of wands sits next to it. And the woman, the beautiful, you know, woman here is kind of a warrior herself. Uh, definitely she is who's standing there in that stance and she's letting, uh, she's letting the owl go. So this is like, uh, I want a future based, based on wisdom. Like I know what I want. I could have learned a lot. This is in the past. I feel like somebody kind of suffered most likely or went through something really difficult here. Uh, and they have gained wisdom from it. And now they are moving forward wiser in their life and they want a new beginning or they want this future to reflect their wisdom. This could have been, you know, maybe a low vibing relationship that's being left behind. It is possible here. The four of wands sits here and these two women are looking at each other like you're the one baby, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. but it talks about a celebration and the birds have come to each woman and tied up their hands, right? Kind of like, and so they are kind of tied together. And this is what, this is your mindset. You, you want to be tied to this person, Capricorn, in a very beautiful way, not in any kind of a stuck way but in a very beautiful way. And, uh, these are, you know, the four of wands talk about stability, right? And, uh, mm, a celebration. Sometimes it is a marriage card. We have Capricorn. Yeah. Brace yourself. All right. Yeah. Gulp. Just kidding. Queen of Pentacles is reversed. No need to gulp. <laughs> and, uh, this is you right now. Uh, you kind of, you, you just, if you, maybe you're just growing disappointed here. You could like, gee, I've been waiting a long time possibly because there's this heavy energy here, which can sometimes, uh, kind of denote time has passed, right? With the heaviness, right? A lot of time can be heaviness sometimes. And here's your concern where the man walks away with these swords. He's leaving the great calling behind. This is maybe what you want. You might want this person to walk away from some type of a heavy situation. It does kind of look like that. Page of Pentacles is in your environment, Capricorn. This is... This is letting you know to have hope here because I don't think this is you holding this. Uh, it's, you know, this is a message that can be coming to you. We know the pages are messengers, but 
this is like the way he's holding this pentacle. It's, it's huge, right? And just kind of a smaller man. He's not a big man. He's holding the pentacle. This is like to show, um, to show the value here. Yeah. And the honor basically. Right. And so here's, uh, is this the dog? Yeah. The dog's playing in the back. There's loyalty here because of, or I think the dog is, has found something interesting here. Wow. It's really, yeah. But when we see the dog, it is typically loyalty, right? And so in your environment is some type of a fertile new beginning. They could be coming to tell you that they are being loyal to you. Maybe they had to discover this possibly because the dog is discovering this, I don't know, little dead animal or something here, right? Yeah. But, uh, this is kind of like, um, you know, this is something I want to show you. I want to present this to you. Uh, I want to give this to you. It's, this is something very tangible and a value and in your hopes, Capricorn, uh, and desire here is, and this person could be doing this. They could be reaching because it's next to this page of pentacles. Your person could be reaching for your cup because I have to cover this woman because she's bare breasted, but she's reaching for the cup that this man is drinking and the man's watching over here. There could definitely be a third party in this reading. There could, or there could have been, doesn't have to be there, you know, could be now, but, and the hermit sits in the outcome Capricorn. This is spiritual growth. Yeah. Maybe somebody's kind of hiding out here, kind of in their hermity, their hermity energy, right? Yeah, they could. And this lover card, we're going to take a look at it a little bit more here because it's just too interesting, right? I, all these cards are interesting. Yeah, they are. And the lover is, uh, you are a prisoner of your own feeling, feelings of worth, worthlessness deep down inside. This underestimation of yourself, the words, I don't like myself, must be allowed to come to the surface. It's no longer enough to use other people's labels or seek their attention in regard to whether they still like you or can be won over. Wow, we'll go to bed with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like all this is talking about, uh, you know, maybe a person really wants to go to bed with you, definitely. But I feel like this somebody's walking away from something here where they, whoever this person is, Capricorn, I feel like this is their energy. I feel like it has to do with them feeling worthless after leaving somebody else that they don't probably don't want to sleep with. It could definitely be that. Because these are deep cards. They are, right? Mm -hmm. This talks about letting go. The way through the problem is uh, let go of body and matter. Your path ahead involves thinking about Venus and love. Yeah, love and uh, mm -hmm. and stability. Because Venus uh, stands, uh, Venus is, you know, rules Taurus, which is the second house of stability, basically, and money. Uh, that means becoming her friend and love right? So when they talk about Venus here, they talk about love. Think about, uh, your path moving forward, letting go of, of actually body and matter, probably letting go of maybe of money here, but thinking about love, learn to see yourself as a sensual experience, learn to see life that way and to respect and value your body as the res residence of the soul without exaggerating its importance or wasting your energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody here, uh, has had issues with kind of their self-esteem, but you know, uh, I feel like they are looking forward, uh, to love. And I feel like it has to do with you. And we see the spiritual growth in the reading with the hermit. In other words, this person wants you Capricorn after some spiritual growth, major spiritual growth. And they're walking away from maybe, a maybe somewhere where there's a lot of money, but it's like this kind of Western kind of like Western society where, you know, you know, they, everything is kind of based on money and stability and yeah. And, and not even, you know, it's not based on love and spirituality, right? Because, uh, you care less about what the, what society thinks when you are really kind of in your power, your divine source energy, and you are caring about love and spirituality, right? Or you are in that type of mode, right? Uh, yeah. And so the hermit shows up, uh, in the end here in the outcome, rather, there's a lot of spiritual growth. Your person's first, your person's cards for the extended is courage. So you start Cap Capricorn over here with strength reverse. Cause you don't believe in them. You don't think they're going to come, but they are. Here's the courage card. It's called the seven of roses. 
Maybe they're bringing you seven roses, but uh, crossing your person is the medicine woman and the medicine man together. This person wants to heal the situation with you. I feel like they have learned some major wisdom here uh, with the medicine woman and the medicine man. And this is what they think of you guys. Like, you know, that you guys are this couple here. Yeah, this couple possibly that can heal together. But this is uh, really interesting here. The sweat lodge is here with it. Uh, and let's have a look at the sweat lodge, but it really means kind of purging things. I feel like it does. And let's see what they have to say here. Uh, on these major, uh, the Cherokee, this is, uh, by Denise Lynn, who is a native Cherokee. Uh, and I find the wisdom, uh, is profound. It is so away from Western society, right? It is, I mean, you know, it is right. And, uh, mm-hmm. And cleanse yourself, body, mind, and soul, purify, clutter, clear. Yeah, this is about purging things. And your person is purging something from their life right here. We're going to end this reading and we're going to go and continue this oracle spread in the extended. The link is in the description box below. They're also affordable. We'll have a 10-card oracle and a 10-card a ten card tarot spread. Thanks so much for joining me here, Capricorn. Yeah, this, is, this looks... Uh, this looks exciting. It looks also very deep. Yeah. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.